Good morning, community. Jill here with North Texas Festival Gardening Canning Recipes. A little bit of everything. Part two of onion broth. We're going to get ready to can this up today. And it's a, a super simple, easy way to do it. We're going to can it on about 11 pounds for 20 to 25 minutes. And this is going to be for pint jars. Now, what can you use this onion broth for? Go back and check part one. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this will be great for an onion soup like a French onion soup. And how you'll use this is once you can it, is uh, you will caramelize you some onions in a pan, and then you will add this soup mixture, and it will be absolutely delicious and ready to go without you having to simmer it a long time, uh, without you letting it have it to cook a very long time. So I'm excited to put this on the shelf. It's not only good for a French onion soup, it's also gonna be very good for the flu and cold season because it is ramped up with a lot of vitamin C. So we did this guys for 48 hours and uh, whew, I'm gonna have to strain out the onions, but it's gonna be pretty simple. Look at that, is that not delicious looking? Look at this rich broth. I have my canning water heated up. I got about an, maybe two inches and very quick process. My broth is heating up guys because I want to put hot liquid in the jars because they're gonna go into hot liquid in the canner. I put about a quarter of a teaspoon of canning salt in each of my pint jars. I got seven pints, guys. You wanna be sure and wipe your rims real good so that you get a good seal. No need to debubble because it's liquid and it's already debubbled as I poured it. Gonna put our lids on and our bands and you just wanna finger tight. Got the canner loaded up. So once our vent starts steaming, we're gonna let it steam for 10 minutes. It's very important that you let it steam for 10 minutes to get all the pressure out of the canner. So we're gonna let that steam for a little bit then I'm gonna put the weight on it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and let that cook at 11, or a pressure can at 11 pounds for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I always do a little over just to be safe, but be sure and check uh, your canning information to make sure you have your um, altitude down so you know exactly what you need to can it at. So it's been a rough three nights here. <laughs> at North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes, a little bit of everything. We've had uh, fireworks every night, and uh, me and Miss Bear ended up going back to the La Quinta last night because our new neighbors across the street who uh, bought all that land had a, uh, a party last night. And you know what? I would too. Uh, if I just bought a bunch of land, and uh, that's the first thing I'd want to do is invite my friends out for a barbecue and have a party. And uh, they were generous. Greg said that the fireworks shut off around 11 p.m., so we're thankful for that. But, uh, you know, it's just really rough on us here whenever there's fireworks three nights in a row because we don't get any sleep and I usually have to go to, the, to uh, a hotel with or to the La Quinta with Miss Bear. Um, I was hoping not to last night, but we did see a bunch of people over there and a bunch of fireworks. So we figured it was best. And so that's what we did. So today I'm gonna finish up. I've already harvested some of my uh, herb seeds, some of my basil seeds to get ready to put up on the market and get ready to put up on the website and also to save for us next year. Um, so I've harvested seeds this morning and now I'm canning this onion broth. Um, I think this is gonna be very brilliant for the pantry, especially for those of you who like the French onion soup where you just caramelize the onions again and add this broth to it. Um, you're not gonna have to cook it. You're just gonna throw your onions in there. Maybe throw uh, a little piece of toast on top and some mozzarella cheese and bake it in the oven a little bit and then shazam, you have that French onion soup. But. Uh, Anyway, it's also going to be good for us uh, for medicinal values. That's going to be um, something that we're going to use it for as well because they're going to be rich in vitamin C and uh, it has a lot of other minerals in it. But uh, we did let it cook for 48 hours on low. And uh, again, go back and check out video number one. I'll put the link down below so you'll see exactly how we did this. It's been 10 minutes. Now we're going to bring it up to 11 pounds. Another thing that this might be really good for, guys, is, you know, 
I use it, and I know a lot of other people do, that French onion soup mix for your roast. I think this would be brilliant for that as well. All right, guys, time's up. So now I've just turned off the stove and we're gonna let this settle until it gets down to zero and there is no more pressure. And then we're gonna take it out, label it, and put it on the shelf. We are all done now, my friends. So again, this is gonna be brilliant for your French onion soup to put into a roast. If you just want to um, drink it because it is vitamin rich with vitamin C. So yeah, this will last four or five years on my shelf. Didn't take long to do guys, 48 hours in the crock pot and about 23 minutes in the canner. And we have some delicious, delicious onion broth that can be used in so many ways. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. We love you. We'll see you soon.